Hello, this is Rao. Today, in this short video, we are going to attain some key knowledge about the critical literature review, which considers focal in the research or dissertation. What is the purpose of literature review? The primary purpose of literature review is providing proof of scholarship to show that you know the literature and you have the intellectual capacity to read it, develop the theoretical argument and be able to give a critical constructive analysis of the literature. Defining literature review. Here are some of the definitions. The literature review purpose is to locate the research project to form its context or background and to provide insight into previous work. Extracts and synthesizes the main points, issues, findings and research methods which emerge from a critical review of the readings. A coherent argument that leads to the description of a proposed study the comprehension of various definitions indicates that the key issues, insights, gaps and key points from previous researches can be useful in order to develop a coherent argument. Why a literature review? Literature review helps to know the leading edge in a chosen research. It creates an environment to learn from others inside or outside the research area. It generates the sources for research data you intend to collect and it also justifies the significance of the research. Why the critical literature review? You need your literature to be critical because it identifies the key ideas, it demonstrates the knowledge and critical understanding of the topic, it justifies need to conduct a study, and it sets the context of the research topic. Why are, what does our critical literature do? It provides a justification of this central research question and objective. It helps to discover explicit recommendations for further research. It supports to refine the central research question and objective. It also helps to integrate both existing research within the central research question and research objective. And it also helps to avoid simply repeating work that has been done already. A critical review process. The diagram in here shows the process involved in the critical review. Selecting the topic, literature search, developing the argument, survey the literature, critique the literature, then writing the review. Literature sources. The literature sources are classified majorly in three categories. Primary literature sources, secondary literature sources, tertiary literature sources. Primary literature sources. The primary sources are mostly reports, theses, emails, conference proceedings, or company reports or unpublished manuscript sources and some government publications. Secondary literature sources. The secondary literature sources which include journals, books, newspapers and some government publications. Tertiary literature sources. These sources include indexes, abstracts, catalogues, encyclopedias, dictionaries, bibliography, citation indexes. Planning the review. You have to consider some key steps before start reviewing process. 
search plan language of publications subject area research area publication period make sure the publications you are using are most recent ones gather literature sources that's it uh, if you are uh, looking for support or training or guidance don't uh, hesitate to contact us uh, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming learning videos thank you very much